and more. Sports with Brianna Mellon. Welcome to Bench Talk. WT's baseball team is preparing for their conference home opener against UT Permian Basin this weekend. With an overall record at 21 and 5, much of the Buffs' success has been contributed to their pitching staff as we have three of them joining us here tonight on the far end. I have Justin McAllister, Josh Payne, and Marshall Kosowski. Thank you guys for joining us here tonight. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, Justin, you've been with the Buffaloes for three, this is going to be your third season. Yes, now you've been to back-to-back -back Super Regionals, but this season you guys have had your best start in program history. What's different about this year's team? Uh, I mean, we're just really deep as a pitching staff and on our offense. We can roll nine guys out starting nine one game and then a totally different nine the next game and still compete and get a victory. And Josh, you've uh, had a two-hit complete game shutout with 16 games at uh, 16 K's, excuse me, against Kingsville and earlier this month, and then you were later named the National Pitcher of the Week. Can you just talk on your confidence now this at this point in the season? Um, I, I really uh, give it all to my defense. I have a lot of trust in my defense, and I just have to trust most of my pitches and just believe in the team. Mm -hmm. And Marshall, you were named LSE Pitcher of the Week for the third time, and you tied a school record last week against Eastern New Mexico with 17 strikeouts. But you've had to battle some adversity this past year. You, you had to work for this success. Can you kind of just talk on that a little bit, what you've been through? Yeah, so uh, December 21st, 2015, I was involved in a uh, bad car accident and uh, brought me here to WT, and honestly, it's been a blessing ever since. So just it's been an awesome journey so far. So, and as your first season with the Buffaloes, what is it just like to have just this early success? This early success, excuse me. Um, I mean, honestly, it just it feels great. I mean, the team we have a lot of support um, from the team um, outside of the team, and I mean, like I said, it's just been a blessing ever since. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and I want to know who has the weirdest pregame ritual or superstition in the clubhouse this year. Opportunity, may put someone on blast, I maybe. I <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say Nelson Paredes. He's yeah. always dancing in the clubhouse. Getting a, it's not really a superstitious mm -hmm. thing, but he's Just always in the clubhouse with up. music going. He's always dancing and doing his thing with his with Darius Carter as well. Do you guys have like a song that's played every before every game that gets you guys pumped up, or are you kind of all just mentally in your own zone? I think there's just a lot of dancing and yeah. a lot of songs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah. yeah. Well, you guys have uh, your opening at LSC this weekend against UTPB. It's their first year in the conference. What do you guys know about them, and how are you preparing? Uh, I mean, we're just preparing like any other game. You know, we're just doing all the things right, working hard in practice, and. Hopefully we haven't we haven't faced them my years been here anyway, so we're hoping that they're a, I mean decent team and we're just gonna play harder than them and get the W. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, opening day coming up for the MLB on Sunday and then on Monday as well. Do you guys look up to any pitchers or who are some of your guys' favorite teams? Uh, I know growing up I love Roger Clemens, mm -hmm. uh, the Rocket. <laughs> I just uh, kind of allies him and um, just. I love how he's a big, strong, just physical guy, so I don't know about y'all too. But. I, I was a fan of Randy Johnson. I'm a lefty as well as him, so, and I'm a Diamondbacks fan from Arizona, so okay. I constantly watched him play, him and Kurt Schilling together, and Randy Johnson was probably my favorite pitcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with Justin. He, uh, Randy Johnson is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome. I thank you guys for coming in tonight. I wish you guys good luck this weekend against the Falcons. Well, don't go anywhere. Dave will have one last look at your forecast right after the break. <laughs> 